So many of our clients ask us in relation to managing their SOPs, what's the appropriate process in handling it? Um, and, and we have many manners of loading documents into the system. It can be done in a bulk manner, it can be done individually based on templates or loaded in from a shared drive. That draft document is then typically shared amongst a team of reviewers for collaborative purposes. That review will be controlled and handled by one review owner who will be responsible for ensuring that all the reviewers are actively involved in the review, putting in their proposed changes, their comments, and then in turn passing that document back to the review owner who will accept or reject those comments, up version automatically the document so that it goes from a draft version 0.1 to version 0.2, etc. At the end of the review cycle, that document is typically placed into a release approval stage, at which point a number of approvers are asked to approve on the document, putting in place their electronic signature in compliance with 21 CFR Part 11, and the document then in turn is signed off upon, put into a state that we refer to as being an authorized SOP. Now, it's typical that that document will remain in an authorized state for a period of four to six weeks until such time as the training has been completed on the document and that the owner or the coordinator of the workflow is in a position to release the document, making it generally available at version 1.0 or 2.0 as the case may be. Um, and especially for documents that are under review that may have been created a year ago or two years ago, functionality is in place to ensure that those documents are reviewed periodically on an annual basis or on a biannual basis to the extent that the document coordinator will receive notifications, ensuring that they complete their task on reviewing the content of the document, keeping them up to date in line with the regulations, etc., and then in turn uh, upversioning that document based on the content. Ultimately, after a period of time, these documents will become obsolete and will be retired. And that archiving and retention of documents is handled within the system as such.